Good morning and welcome to Contours Travel webinar on the Amazon region of Peru. Um, this morning I'm going to be talking about um, a couple of different locations, um, primarily Iquitos and Puerto Maldonado, and discussing some of the lodge and cruise options in that area. Um, just to run through for, for people who aren't familiar with Contours Travel, um, Contours Travel has been operating for 40 years with the founder still active within the business, Ted Judkovitz, try spelling that, that's quite a mouthful, um, in the early days and um, later on. Okay, so um, we've got a, a host of staff um, in the office, I haven't introduced everyone previously, myself up in the corner here though, we've got a lot of Latin Americans working in here. Um, enabling us to, to have the best local knowledge of the areas, areas that we're all very passionate about and travel frequently in. Okay, so with the 40 years experience, we can offer a wonderful service um, about the area. So um, what I'll do initially is touch on our part of the world. We don't do Asia, we don't do Africa, we're specialists in Latin America. So the area that we're going to be talking about today is the Amazon region. As you can see, it takes up a huge expanse of um, South America. Um, to give you an idea, the Amazon, this is the Amazon River here, looking from the satellite, joins with the Rio Negro and Rio Solomonas River at Manaus in Brazil. But the, the actual Amazon basin that we're covering today covers Brazil, with the border there. It comes into Bolivia, a large chunk of Peru, Ecuador, Colombia, and skirts the southern part of Venezuela as well. Okay, so the Amazon proper has 1,200 different tributaries making up that river with a distance of around 6,500 kilometres, and 65 of those rivers are actually larger than the Mississippi River. So um, it gives you a little bit of an idea. So you can see the Peruvian flag, Ecuadorian, and Brazilian flag there, and what we're focusing on today is Iquitos and Puerto Maldonado within Peru. So we've got Iquitos up in the north of the country, and then we've got the very accessible Puerto Maldonado, which is very close and only a short flight from Cusco. Okay, so it, tie, it, it ties nicely into people's um, itineraries. Now, people, there's, there's, with the two different <clears throat> areas that we're covering on, for people who are wishing to do a, a short stay, an Amazon experience, it's great to go in Puerto Maldonado, and you can easily link in there, as I'll show with the flights in a moment, with only that 35-minute flight. So generally, <clears throat> this is a place where people will do two, three, four, and possibly even five-night lodge stays within the area. People who are going to Iquitos generally do a three to four night lodge stay, or this is where the cruisers operate on the area of the river heading down towards the Brazilian, uh, Brazilian border on the Rio Maranhão um, and around Bacaya Samira National Park there. So, sorry, this section through here. Okay, to get to Iquitos, this is the largest totally isolated city in the world where you're unable to drive into it. There's only river or flights to get into Iquitos. So there's a direct flight which operates with land airlines um, about three to four times a day, regularly changing schedules, unfortunately, to get to and from Iquitos. Now, people, you can choose to spend the night in Iquitos, or many people um, with a lot of wonderful destinations throughout South America want to maximise their time, so getting picked up at the airport and heading off to a lodge or onto a cruise on that same day. Okay, To get to Puerto Maldonado, there is a flight um, in the mornings going via Cusco and onto Puerto Maldonado. The morning flight via Cusco ties in, so you can take it by, from Lima or from Cusco to get to Puerto Maldonado, and that ties in with all the timings to get to the transportation. So the transfers are included in all of the Amazon Lodge packages to get there. Sometimes because of difficulties, people have to take the afternoon flight, direct flight from Lima, and then private transfers are required generally to get into the Amazon Lodges. Only other way into Puerto Maldonado is the, the part of the new Interoceania Road that travels from the east or east to west coast, basically of South America, um, and there is a, a road to get in there, but generally the, the 12 hours, a 35-minute flight's a lot better. 
Okay, so looking primarily at the cruise options um, within the Iquitos region, so you can see you've got the Moyana Lodge here, and then you've got the, the cruise options on the Rio Marignon and the Rio Pacaya and the Pacaya Samira National Reserve. So the Aqua, sorry, the Aria, Zafiro, Delphin 1 and 2, Amazon Discovery, Catalaya, um, they're some of the cruise um, cruises that are operating in the area, and we'll also be having a look at the Moyana Lodge and the Explorama Lodge. So they're all located in and around the Iquitos area. One of the first and probably most popular with the um, Australian market is the Aria Cruise. You can see here it's a, it's a luxury vessel. I've actually been on the sister um, ship of the Aria, the Aqua, now deceased, um, and that has a capacity for 32 guests on there and they operate a three-night, four-night and a seven-night combination cruise within the area. It's a luxury cruise with fantastic um, suites with the panoramic windows looking out to the river to see everything going past, great social areas, fantastic um, food, taking in local delicacies and a bar area for lectures, uh, briefings and, well, a pisco sour as well, why not? Okay, so the itineraries that they operate um, on the Marignon River there, so flying in and out of Iquitos, transporting by land to the town of Nata, Nauta, and then coming up and around on a four-day cruise or on the, the seven-day cruise, okay, which is the combination of the four and the three-night cruise, okay, so fantastic. It is a high-end product um, and as such is quite expensive, but a fantastic luxury experience that you can send your clients on and they'll have a fantastic time. Some of the um, nature of the Amazon, at it has a variety of bird life, very varied and colourful, um, from the frogs to the monkeys to the pink dolphins. Now, pink dolphins, you wake up the wake up in the Amazon, you look out the window and you see a pink dolphin, you think you've had maybe one too many Pisco Sours, but it's um, basically a freshwater dolphin and they are pink in colour. They can be seen in the Iquitos area, but not in the Puerto Maldonado area. Okay, so some other wildlife's not pictured there. Um, sloths, toucans, a huge variety. It is a wonderful and huge area. So it's not a zoo where everything's in cages and you're going to see every single animal, but you can hope to set out and see a variety of the nature there. Okay, from Cayman to heading out on kayaks, to, to being taken on boat trips um, around to see the areas. Okay, so Cayman and um, one of the, the highlights for many is a little bit of piranha fishing. Um, you can generally um, fit in a little bit of piranha fishing. Zafiro is also another um, very similar to the Aria operating on the, the three night, four night and seven night um, itineraries in the same kind of areas. Once again, you can see the very comfortable um, with the balconies there, environment throughout there with the jacuzzi. So the Sephiro, the Aria, operating on the, the similar type of itineraries. I won't dwell on those as they sometimes can be often fitted in um, depending on the travel date, whether you choose which one of those because they're both fantastic cruises. Okay. Other thing to consider is the rainy and high water season and the low water season whereby um, a lot of the um, area surrounding the river is underwater during the high water season, so a lot more um, excursions are taken by the, the small zodiacs or the boats um, into the flooded Amazon area, whereas in the low, low water season, a lot more land is accessible to do hikes in the, in the rainforest, okay? The rainforest, key word, so there will always be that little bit of rain around. Okay, so prepare for it. It can get cool as well, um, but um, generally speaking, quite hot and humid. So although the, the treks and the walks aren't difficult to go off and to, to see and to witness all about the different trees, um, what the, the difficulty can be is just if you're not used to the heat and the, um, and the humidity there, no altitude to deal with. Okay. 
Um, just whilst we're talking about the um, things in the Amazon, um, insects, they're always um, prevalent. Okay, so you just have to be a little bit aware of the mosquitoes around um, dusk and dawn are the area times of day when they're most prevalent. So people, um, it's best to wear long sleeve, light cotton clothing, um, always cover up um, your hands and your ankles. So although you might be com comfortable in open sole, open shoes or sandals, um, generally best to wear um, socks and shoes or something, um, be it on the boat or be it on land, um, making sure that you're covered up around the ankles and wrists. Some people who are particularly um, tasty to the mosquitoes do get bitten often, sometimes might wish to wear some gloves to protect themselves as well. There's a whole variety of different um, headwear that you can wear, even covering yourself up like a beekeeper, but with on the boats, they will provide you with um, repellent and spray you up before you head out for the excursions, okay? One of the other um, luxury cruise vessels is the Dolphin. There is two Dolphins, quite different in their, in their shape, okay? So it looks a bit different um, from looking from outside, but once you sort of look from the inside, you can see that um, they certainly are a luxury option with little jacuzzis in the suites. These are actually windows here, so even though they appear that you've sort of got open cabins, these are uh, windows looking out there. So there's a little doorway around the corner to lead to the outer area. Okay, so that is actually a smaller vessel and only capable of carrying 12 passengers on the Delphin One. Okay, operating the, the three and four night programs and the Delphin Two, which is a larger of the, the two Delphins with 14 guest suites. This is more an enclosed type vessel, and you can see the, <clears throat> the, the cabins with one of the, the circular corner cabins, still with the panoramic windows looking out to the river and some of the common areas and dining room of there. Okay, so three, four night itineraries, um, lots of excursions by the little boats up the river, piranha fishing, they're not terribly big, and you can swim with them. <clears throat> it's not like the movies, you don't get bitten um, in half by piranhas. Okay, Amazon Discovery, one of the new vessels, also operating um, <clears throat> with 18 suites on there, um, operating cruises in that same area. Okay, some photos of that, Catalaya, and some photos as well. I'll keep moving um, as there is a great deal of similarities in all of the cruises. You can see here a little bit of a price guide in US dollars per person and this is based upon a, a four day, three night cruise. So the, the costs vary but generally you're looking at between 800 to 1100 US dollars per person per day. So they are an expensive option. Okay, but certainly having done one, a well worthwhile. For people not wishing to do the lodge experience, you're not going to go off and uh, to do the cruise experience. You can go off and visit a lodge. This lodge in the um, Iquitos region, quite comfortable. Generally a three to four night stay at the lodge where you undertake a variety of walks, trips by boats, um, visiting the local communities um, and exploring and getting to see the wildlife of the area. A little bit simpler, certainly in comparison to the cruises, but still comfortable and um, with all amenities required um, for a stay. Okay, you can see the um, thatching and built with all local materials from the area. Um, 55 cabins at this lodge, okay. So what we're going to be looking at now, just moving through everything as time is running short, I'm sure you've got work to do, is the Puerto Maldonado area. So previously I mentioned flying in from Cusco or Lima to Puerto Maldonado and then there's a variety of lodges, Sandoval, Posada, Amazonas, Explorer, Reserva Amazonica and primarily on the Madre de Dios and the Tambopata River and some on the Heath River heading towards Bolivia in the Medidi National Park and further upstream in the Manu, okay? So Hacienda Conception, you can see slightly more comfortable lodges within the Puerto Maldonado area um, with slightly better or differently appointed um, luxury type cabins, 
and a variety of wildlife there, no pink dolphins to be seen, from going out in the canoes to the motorised canoes um, to undertake and see the variety of wildlife. Reserva Amazonica is another fantastic lodge within the um, Puerto Maldonado region with a variety of luxurious cabins there. So people can travel and travel in style to the Amazon and fear not that they're going to be in a little mud hut by the side of a river eating bananas, okay, sharing with monkeys, okay. Certainly an upmarket destination as well, okay. Posada Amazonas is a popular um, three-and-a-half star type of res uh, lodge that is quite close and accessible to Puerto Maldonado to save a lot of upriver travel to explore there and they offer a variety of excursions as well. Rufuji Amazonas also within the same chain um, with the, the, the comfortable open type of um, suites at the at the lodge there so that's a mosquito net so basically keeps the monkeys and everything out with the lodges of a night time they often ask that you put the put any food away or don't keep food in your rooms so as to prevent people coming in or not people monkeys and other wildlife coming in and joining you for the night okay Tumbapata Research Centre is further up the Tumbapata River um, as the name would suggest, and that is normally a place which is um, visited, tied in with either a Posada or Rufugio Amazonas on a five-night or five-day, four-night trip. So generally you spend three nights here, a little bit deeper and further away from civilization, um, not likely still to find any lost tribes, um, but it certainly will give you a, a greater insight into or a greater Amazon experience. Okay, so the lodges are comfortable, simple, but um, serve what you need. Okay, hammocks, very comfortable for relaxing, having a siesta and avoiding the afternoon heat. Okay, this is Sandoval Lodge. This is only about 45 minutes from Puerto Maldonado, one of the closest lodges. Okay, so um, the excursions can visit to... Hopefully you don't see too many snakes, but more of the macaws there. Um, and this is at one of the clay licks that are so prevalent in the area where the macaws come on a daily basis to um, take the salt from the clay lick. Okay. Now, hopefully that's um, enabled me to, to provide a little bit of quick information about the Amazon area. Please feel free to contact us um, on Contours Travel, contours at contourstravel.com. If you have any further questions um, about the about the lodges, Amazon trips, or anything for South America. Now, as part of our webinar series, we offer the opportunity to um, answer a question, um, to go into the running, to travel on our Ecuador for Mill next year. Okay, so question for today and send the answer to contours at contourstravel.com is what is the three letter airport code for Iquitos? I haven't told you during the um, webinar but I think you should be able to work that one out. Okay and just a reminder any questions um, have a look at our website um, website that one or send us an email if you have any assistance required for your clients travel needs within Latin America. Um, just wondering if you, anyone has any questions that I might be able to assist with. Okay. Um, oh, thank you for, for the very kind comments. Um, but what we'll be doing is we'll be um, wrapping up our Peru series this week and moving on to Bolivia next week. All of these um, webinars can be found by searching on Contours Travel, sorry, search.